Hi guys, it's Brooke from Concert Crap, and today I'm here with Bert from Chunk, No Captain Chunk. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Very glad to be here. So Bert, while in quarantine, a lot of musicians have gotten back together to release new music. Have you guys always known that you wanted to release new music, or was this something that kind of sparked while in quarantine? Yeah, to be very honest, like the, the initial plan was to actually just make um, a few songs, like two, um, for festivals that were supposed to happen in 2020, uh, such as Slam Dunk that was supposed to happen in the UK. Uh, and obviously COVID happened. Um, and, you know, um, obviously the, the, that festival got canceled or postponed. And we turned those like few songs into an EP and an EP became an album. But yeah, the initial plan was not to do exactly this. I'm just very glad that this whole thing, I mean, I'm not glad that COVID happened, obviously, but it's, it's um, you know, uh, I would say that without this whole situation, I like, yeah, we would have probably come up with something completely different. Maybe an album, maybe an EP, whatever, but I think also the songs would have been different. I think... Okay. Yeah, I think it, ha it plays a very important uh, part and has an important role into um, these, uh, this album, for sure. What was the writing and recording process like for this new record? Was it any different just because, like, with quarantine and everything going on? Well, yeah, it was completely different from what we were used to do. Um, well, first of all, that, that entire album has been, like, self-produced. We kind of, like, did everything. Uh, the recording, the mixing, and, and all of that. Um, also, we had like, yeah, a lot of the songwriting happens like remotely, um, which is kind of crazy to think about it. Like, um, you know, if, you know, if I was being said, like, if I was being told that, you know, you could make like an entire record like remotely like 10 years ago, like I could not even believe that. It's just crazy to think about it. So... So, yeah, I think, you know, the, the, the usual process we had for the songs were like, um, you know, I, I, I came up with like an, an original instrumental idea. We'll share it with the guys. They would like send back some riffs and uh, yeah, which we would just like build up the song just like this. Um, and yeah, I think that the one thing that's been completely different from what we were used to do here was actually we took the time. We, we had more time. Um, and we, we were able to, yeah, just, I don't know, have that thinking of like, oh, what do we want to do? Where do we want to go as a band? Uh, do we want to make our own like style, uh, kind of like evolve, um, which actually, I don't know. It's the kind of thinking that a lot of artists should actually go through and take and sit back for a minute and think about it because, you know, it's very easy to come up with a record that sounds exactly like the previous one, um, you know. Uh, and the thing also that a lot of people need to understand is that in a, in a, gen in a niche genre like ours, um, it's, it's very challenging. It can be very challenging to make your own, own style uh, evolve, progress in a way. Um, so, and I think that that was, that, that was the one thing we definitely wanted to happen on this record we want people to listen to it and be like oh that sounds fresh that sounds new that sounds like these guys are like bringing something new um on the table and and yeah i'm, I'm very proud of this record just because i feel like it that's i mean i hope people will will think uh um will think the same way but but i'm, I'm very glad of this record because i think it's it's that's bringing uh exactly this something something fresh yeah, and I listened to uh, to Gone or The Good Days when you guys released that recently, and I definitely see what you're saying with like sounding fresh and like sounding a little different. And I, I definitely do see it in comparison to your old work. So kudos oh, to you. that. <laughs> Thanks. What song on this new record was the most fun for you guys to write and record? I think yeah, by far um, the most like the the most fun we had on this record was the songwriting on, on the one that's called Complete You, uh, because this one started with kind of like a crazy experimentation and with uh, like that crazy combination, like that, the, the starting point, like literally the, the starting part of that song was 
like an Afro beat, dun, 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 like sort of thing that something that we are completely not used to do. Um, and we started to blend, like to blend some funky guitar stuff and like pretty much all the ingredients of that song are like completely weird to us and completely out of our comfort zone. And somehow we, it, it, it worked out so well, like, um, even when I listen to it right now, I'm like, wow, that's, I, that's crazy how it, how well it works. And, um, and yeah, um, at some point we we're like, okay, let's, let's bring in like a crazy, crazy instrument in that, in that one. Um, and I don't know when you're going to release that interview, if it's going to be before or after that song is going to be released, but I don't want to say it too much, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's, it's my favorite song. Um, and you know, I, I really hope, I really can't wait for, you know, to get the people's feedback on that one. It's, it's strange, but it works, but yeah, this one. Awesome. Are there any lyrics on the new album that particularly stick, stick with you or stand out to you or like have some sort of like important meaning? I think the main, uh, the main topic on the album is kind of like nostalgia, the like, but more like a positive nostalgia, not like a sad one, you know, like, because I, I felt like with 2020, uh, we all had like a, a rough year. Um, uh, and you know, I'm just glad that, you know, life is finally getting back to normal. At least there's like hope. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like we all fell down for a minute and, you know, I saw like a lot of my friends like going like very frustrated, like being in a very dark place for a minute. And I feel like, you know, we all like question ourselves being like, okay, what's, what's left, you know, what's, what can, you know, cheer us up. And I think, you know, good memories, like just, yeah, thinking back for a minute and like thinking of like all those good times we had at shows with friends and family is kind of like, yeah, the best the best way to cheer us up. So I think all of that combined together is kind of like the main topic of the album. That's the one on, on Garner, the good days. That's the one uh, in our, the first song we released that's called bitter. Um, but my personal favorite line uh, of the record is, is the, the hook for the, the song that's called true colors. Um, and that's the, the hook that goes heavy is the, head that wears the crown um so it's not you know it's not from us it's it's a shakespeare uh quote uh, but i don't know it's so meaningful it's so impactful uh yeah i'm ve very very proud of this one that's awesome so i see that you guys have an older song featured on the new record what sparked the decision to include blame it on this song um i I don't know. So that one was released at the end of Warp Tour 2016, if I'm correct. Um, and I don't know, like, I've, I think we've always loved this song and we felt like just the way it was released kind of like didn't give it proper exposure. So we felt like the need to actually revive it a little bit uh, with this new record. Plus, I think it really fits the rest of the track lists. Like for some reasons, like the, the, even like the, the topic, like the, um, the lyrics kind of like worked very, works very well with the rest of the songs. It has like kind of like that moody sort of nostalgic um, sort of vibe to it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of like a typical chunk song, but also kind of new at the same time. So, I'm very glad and very, yeah, very proud that this one is on the, is on the track list. I, I'm, plus it's been kind of like remixed, remastered, and I kind of like adjusted some pronunciation issues as well. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm very glad that this one is on the record. Awesome. So the COVID restrictions are kind of lifting more and more each day and we're seeing a lot of tour announcements. Um, do you guys see yourselves potentially touring anytime soon? And if so, where were you thinking that you would like to tour? Well, yeah, we would love to be back on stage pretty soon. I mean, we, we, you know, we're about to release an album, so it makes sense to do a little bit of touring. Um, the thing, the thing that's kind of like worrying a little bit right now for us, especially for us uh, as a French band is that I feel like the entire world is like way ahead of us in terms of vaccination, uh, especially in the US, especially in the UK. Uh, you guys have been 
you know, really good um, with, with that. Fortunately, that's, we're not in the same situation. Uh, I mean, we're, you know, we'll get there. Um, it's getting better. And, you know, I got my first, my first injection like yesterday. So, uh, and, you know, yeah, I, but I cannot say that life is going to be back, like, uh, get, get back to normal, like, like, I don't know, next week, you know. Uh, I'm just glad that it's coming back in the U.S. Um, but, but yeah, we'll see. Honestly, as soon as we got like an offer and opportunities to actually tour, do some tours like safely, we'll we'll do it for sure. Um, but yeah, we just we just can't wait for this thing to you know be over and uh, yeah be part of the past. But yeah, oh yeah, no, actually one thing we are gonna play Slam Dunk in the U.K. That's supposed to happen in September. So. If it's not canceled, this is going to be, yeah, we'll, we'll do that in September. Um, and it's going to be, that's, that's going to be crazy. It's going to be our first show after, I don't know, four years almost. So wow. it's going to be feel, yeah, it's going to feel weird a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure you're really excited though. So that's, that's really awesome. Yeah. All right. So I want to wrap this up by giving you the opportunity to share anything else that you may want to. So where fans can find you on social media or just any last minute thoughts that you may have? Well, um, I think the main, the main thing is that the fact that everyone should know that we have this new record that's going to be out on July 30th and you can do some pre-orders. We have some very nice vinyls, with, like in different colors. Um, they're good. Plus also there's like some, some new merch for that. Um, but I just can't wait for everyone to listen to the record from start to finish because I think this whole album makes sense altogether. Um, it, it's cool to, you know, release a few songs. I mean, it's part of the promo plan, promo strategy, of course, but this album should be listened from start to finish. It's kind of like one, one piece. And I just can't wait to get people feedback. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully they will like it as much as we do. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I just can't wait to be back on stage to play in front of, yeah, everyone here. Uh, and, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but thank you for having me. And, um, yeah. Of course. Thank you very much for your time today. Chunk No Captain Chunk has an album coming out via Fearless Records on July 30th. So be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Brooke with Concert Crap signing off.